Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Good morning. One thing you need to understand, you must have the knowledge of why you are here. That's one. If you claim to be a Christian, you must have the knowledge of Christianity. What does it mean to be a Christian? A Christian life comes from Christ himself. How much life of Christ do you have in you? Christ believed his salvation received. The level at which you have believed is the value of what you are going to get. Christ Jesus is not the Jesus you people know. Christ Jesus is not simply Jesus Christ, is the power of God. Holding the whole world, holding the universe, holding everything, it is only one thing. It's just named Christ Jesus. The Bible says that when Moses raised the stick or his hand, the east winds came and blew the red sea. The east wind and the sea got dry. They walked on the dry land. Exodus 14:21. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The response. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land and the waters were divided. But listen, then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. You are here to stretch out your hand over the sea. Over those problems which have mounted as a sea, and something must happen. Amen. Whenever you raise your hand, something must happen. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus help, me. help me. Whenever I raise my hand, I raise my hand in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, something must happen. Something must happen. When he raised his hand, the east winds saw the hand of Moses and they were instructed to come and open the way. When you raise your hand, what really happens? Don't even bother to raise your hand if you don't know what it means. Don't even bother to call the name Jesus if you don't know the value of the name. You must call the name for a response. Your problem cannot be just solved. There must be a power. There must be a force of which God is behind. Come on! Because your enemy is destined to destroy you. You too, you must have a force of which God is behind. You are here to change the situation. My name is Emmanuel Jamini. I'm from South Africa, but originally from Zimbabwe. I now live in South Africa for the past 15 years. Uh, Men of God, um, I've got a big issue uh, where 
I used to dream two kind of animals when I was young. And in 2009, I spoke to my father about this. Men of God, what you've drawn here is very clear. This is my home, where I come from. My parents' home. And there is a big road from Mulawayo that crosses to the business center. And then when you turn left, that's where my home is, from the main road. My father in 2009 told me he suffered the same thing. He doesn't want to share anything with me. And now he's been mentally ill for the past three years. Once upon a time, there was a Sangoma or a witch doctor. Thank you, man of God. Let me say the big eyed witch doctor. This is the man who brought disaster to your father's family or to your family. I remember, man of God. Thank you. This Sangoma was temporarily married to my aunt. He had big eyes. And I still remember the name started with S, but I was still young at the time. So let me stamp out this big eyed Sangoma. Everything will be okay with you. There's no problem. Sangoma out! Brother Manuel from South Africa being delivered. Vomit it out. Watching the screens of the television as deliverance is going on for Mr. Emmanuel from South Africa. The man of God has commanded the big eyed Sangoma to come out of him. Now see, he's vomiting out every root cause of the problem. Whatever the devil deposited in him is coming out. Say, Christ Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. We should follow him. He himself. Is the, way is the way to our success. To our success. Yes? yes? He himself he is, what is what I need to solve my problem. Solve my problem. You need only him, only Jesus. Good morning, Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Nancy Huho. I'm from Kenya. I pastor with my husband in Maasai land. And for 18 years, we have experienced battles and battles. People coming out of church, no money, warfare after warfare. My husband tells me, it's because of where you have come from. The altars at your place are affecting the ministry. This is where we are having the ministry. This is a tree at the entrance of the gate. These are houses where people stay. We have people, we help young men and boys. This is the tent because our church is in the tent. Before time, yes. at the church compound, yes. you people found there was a settlement. Okay. 
the settlement was not all that big. Yes. It yes. was a very small house. Yes. Small yes, village God. house like yes. a this. Yes. Shabe like a this. Yes, that like. is true. Yes. Who built that Kasmo Mabati? We found it there. The owner of the land had built it as rental houses. So we took one room. We were in another place where we started the ministry. It was like a small structure. We started sitting on stones. And then the ministry expanded, we expanded the Mabati. It's an interior place in Maasai land in Kenya, a small structure Mabati house. The roof is like this as he has grown. Thank you, Jesus. So how do you expect to enter a poor house and you become rich? You started the church in the house of poverty and you wanted to become rich, not knowing whatever the man who was worshipping over there was clearly demons. This man could call bees and they line up. They didn't tell you. Yes, they could. He had the power to call animals. The witchcraft was too much. They could send bees, as the man of God is saying, and dogs. The ministry could not grow. The ministry could not expand. Poverty. So what man of God you are saying is true because they finally chased us out. And this is what you people dream that you are still in that small house. Yes. We dream ourselves back in that small house. Deliverance going on for Lady Nancy, wife to pastor in Kenya. In my name is Jesus Christ. Father, their children. Lord Jesus, set them free. Set her free, set the husband free. In Jesus' holy name. To God be. This woman you have not forgiven, please, part of the family is not happy with you. You are not happy with them. True man of God. My name is Richard Chweya Masese from Kenya. What we have said is true, man of God. The red you are talking about, she was my wife, but she misbehaved and uh, she went to court, she divorced, then she went away. Now, later, she started asking forgiveness, but I told her that I would not allow to come to my own. She divorced you, me. You married court. another one? Yes, I married another one. But what I did, I took my children, I put the land somewhere, I built the house, and I said, if she waits, she could come and I take her out there. So this is what is bothering you now? You don't know how to solve the issue, and you say, if I die, what will happen, really? You are looking at today, you are looking at the future. What so, you have said is true, the man of God. I don't say bring back the woman, but I say, you should forgive her. I've forgiven me. Let Jesus forgive me. 6, 14 and 15 of um, Matthew. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. It did not start that way. The woman was not bad in the beginning. Yes, no. she, she was good. Something came to throw her out of your home. A true, true man of God. And when I know, that's when I started to ask her, and she just refused, she went and they took him to court, we divorced, and then from there I said, I don't want to see her. And it was not her mistake, her mistake with the neighbors who came near your property and they started sending witchcraft to the family to separate. It was not her mistake. And she ran as if she was man of God. She it got attacked. And she didn't know where to go. Give her five million Kenya shilling. Let her go and start something. Yes? yes. Say, please, Man I'm sorry. Word. Whatever happened between us, I'm sorry. But I forgive you in Jesus' name. This is uh, five million Kenya shilling. Please go and start your way. Man of God. Can't you get five million and give to her? You're a rich man, you have money. True man of God, but my question is, hey. 
I'm a director of Richmond's group of schools. I own four schools, but as I'm speaking here, mm. I only get money for salary for teachers, rent, and food. The rest, I don't see. Even if I start anything, I don't have money, I will not finish it. So that's the problem. Because you Please, have, man you, of God, help me so that to get that be, money and because, then I because will give Because you have a debt to pay. First of all, to forgive the woman who produced children for you, and they look like you. Yes, How much did you pay her? I didn't pay her anything. The children look like me. She produced how many children for you? Five. I said you should give her how much money? Five million. Yeah. Five, million. Five million. Each child, one million. Hallelujah! Yeah. To God be the glory! Yeah. Sir, we are not proposing, but the Lord Jesus said you must yeah. pay the woman five million shillings, Kenya shillings. Man of God, I'm praying because as by now, I don't have any money. Just say, I'm going to pay the debt. I'm going to pay the five million, man of God. Because without you paying this five million, the heaven you are thinking of to enter, you see a dream when you have not entered. How much is one million Kenya shillings in dollars? One million is equivalent to $7,692. God bless your life. Special blessing okay. for him. So office, give me one million, I pay for you. I'll contribute for you one million, pay the four million. Thank you, man of God. Yes? Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me release you halfway, not fully. Because <laughs> what if he refused to pay? <laughs> Father, release him halfway. That's Mr. Richard from Kenya. Rise up. I've given you three months to pay all this. Because mine is cash one million, you are many with four million. Three months, pay this money. And everything of you, you will come back here happy. Rejoicing. Because the Lord has already allowed it. Let's pay off one million Kenya shillings. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Now you are going. By Friday, call her, call the children, pay her. Say, this is the beginning. Yes, I've been ordered yes, by Jesus through Prophet Kakande to yes, pay you five million. Each child, one million. Go and start off. Yes? Go and see a blessing. <laughs> to God be the glory. Yes. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free.